you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your donations, your personal reading requests, your comments. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching this video. So, this reading is going to be a random reading. Um, not for any particular sign. If this reading resonates with you, then it is for you. I don't know what's coming. Let's see what's coming. I do know this, though. On well, the first shuffle that I did before I started filming, the Ten of Cups and the Empress was on the cut. So that's a good omen. Monks. Codes. Tobes. Okay, one more shuffle, one more shuffle. One more. Ooh. Interesting. Got a good feeling there. Okay. Interesting. So we've got the High Priestess and Judgment. Big energy, straight out of the deck. The High Priestess and Judgment. So on the Judgment card on the Rider Right Tarot, the people at the bottom of the card are waking up. They're having a wake-up call. They are waking up to the reality of something. All seeing, all knowing. Waking up to the reality of no limits. Waking up to the reality of no limits. Eight of Pentacles. Because you have worked on this inner gift. I was going to say inner sanctum, but inner gift. Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Well, that is simply to give us two eights. Because I wasn't getting a huge work feeling off the Eight of Pentacles. And I'm not getting the classic Eight of Swords trapped energy. So, I'm definitely seeing that intuitively as two eights. The tarot has an 88 thing connected to it. I just thought I'd say that. Okay. So you have woken up to this in your past. Wow. In your foundation, we've got the star. We've got the Six of Wands, Victory, and the King of Cups, the Merman. We'll take it as it resonates, any water sign. I'm actually getting cancer. But any water sign. you have come out there so in your headspace <laughs> this this big energy is continuing <laughs> the world and the empress so with that in your headspace the world and the empress together that is definitely giving me the feeling quite strongly that you are thinking about birthing something. Now, it could be a person. Could be a baby. Could be. But I'm not actually getting that. But that is what those two cards together most likely do mean. But I'm actually getting intuitively there's actually birthing an idea. 
birthing a concept, birthing an invention, birthing a new way of doing things. That's the vibe I'm getting. Okay? And in your future position, let's see he was coming out for the future. The Hierophant, so learning, teaching. I'm getting the teaching vibe. Nine of Wands. Because you're giving something another go. Even though you have been wounded and affected by negative things in the past, it doesn't matter. Wow, we've got the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. That's absolutely massive. I mean, I like to read. I don't often look at the bottom of the deck. But if I happen, if it catches my eye, then I take note of it. I like, I like the way it just happens like that. It's just free form. Wow. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Ultimate happiness. Everything you've ever wanted in your life. Ultimate abundance. Ultimate work. Wealth. Friendships. Health. Social life. Career. Bingo. Ultimate bingo. <laughs> I'm going to open a chain of bingo. <laughs> Ultimate bingo. <laughs> okay. Wow. The energy here. So, the high priestess crossed by judgment in the central energy. Eight of pentacles, eight of swords in your past. So, a realisation of something. And I'm also getting timeline shifting is coming to mind. King of Cups, Six of Wands and the star in your foundation. And to get the world and the empress in your headspace with the star in the foundation, I have to say, and I'm glad to say, <laughs> fame and fortune and a victory. Um, what I love about the Light Seer's Tarot deck is on the victory card there, it's someone standing on a stage, winning something, being victorious. Mm. Hierophant, Nine of Wands in your future. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> so in the foundation of your wand, for you, this no sign, not particularly a collective reading either. It's just if it resonates with you, it's your message. Exciting message. And I do love a reading when lots of major arcana show. I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean good or bad. It's uh, indifferent. But um, the word arcana... Secrets and Mysteries, so major secrets and mysteries, or minor secrets and mysteries. I mean, sometimes you can, get a, you can get a reading that's all minor arcana, and it's really good, because basically when there's a lot of major arcana, it means huge energy is at play, and that could be one way or the other. So it doesn't mean it's better to get loads of major arcana, it just means bigger energy is at play. Especially when you get judgment in the center point. Mm -hmm. So the foundation of your wand, your staff next to the cross. Wow, they're being shy. They are being shy. Five of Wands. Some sort of... Now, I am getting the word battle, but not 
in the way that you would be thinking, not like a war battle or a battle like that. A battle of wits is possibly coming up in the future. Or you have been in a battle of wits. Mm -hmm. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you have been in a battle of wits which has found you in a situation where people have been emotionally, financially, breadcrumbing you. But this is okay. Because you've got the Seven of Wands. So the ability to defend yourself against other people. One person there, one wand, defending themselves against six wands, making the seven of wands. In your hopes and fears. I'm going to clarify that. Let's also see what's coming up in that position. Ah, queen of wands. And two of cups. So a union is coming out of this. A definitely a union of some description. Union of two people. I'm getting more than two people. Union with the fire sign. Could be Aries, Leo, Sag. So in your outcome position, Okay, so I'm going to say this because when the cards were coming out for the cross, they were flopping out. And then the cards and the wands, so there is a stuck energy there because they're not coming out as, eh, eh, pick me, look at me, I'm the one. Wow, wow. Nine of Pentacles, independence, solidarity and independence, and generosity. Giving three pentacles away, but keeping your six in your outcome position. So you're going to be fine financially. Remember, ten of pentacles was at the bottom of the deck. I wonder if it still is. No, three of pentacles. Still good. Still a pentacle card and a good one. And two aces. Ace of wands, ace of cups. Brilliant outcome energy there. Love to see that. So that's yes. Yes, you are going to be fortunate. Okay, so take this as it resonates, guys. Yes, you are going to be fortunate and famous. Lucky and famous at what you do. Now, when I say famous, I don't mean like appearing in the TV, appearing on TV and, and stuff like that. That isn't what I'm meaning. I'm meaning community famous. Okay, it's really important that, I mean, I hardly ever mean appearing on TV, <laughs> being a celebrity in that way. Although that's, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, community famous. Wow, Ten of Cups and Three of Pentacles on that cut. Yeah, I'm just going to pull, I'm just going to pull some more cards, see what's coming. Well, that one wanted to come out. That one wants to come out. That one wants to come out. And those two wants to come out. Okay, that one. Okay, so the first one out was Six of Cups. We've already had the Six of Wands, so that's two sixes in the reading. 
Six of Cups, Three of Cups. So definitely a community feeling there. When I said fame is in the community, that's what I was talking about. And the moon. So definitely that water sign showing up again. Remember when I said when the King of Cups came out? I actually said Cancer, but it could be any any water sign. Or also, it could be any sign. Very important to not get fixated on the signs. It could be someone with a strong water placement. They might have a water sign in Jupiter and Venus, for example. And more of that watery energy as well. Knight of Cups. Knight of Shining Armour. Knight of Love. Knight of Intuition. Knight of Emotions. A feeling knight. And when horses show up in the tarot, it means you're being assisted by the universe. Okay, thank you very much for being here. Now, actually, I'm just going to quickly give you the rundown. So, High Priestess, Central Energy, Judgment, Crossing. In your past, Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, 88. In your foundation, the Star, Six of Wands, King of Cups. In your headspace, the World, the Empress. Massive energy. In your future, the Hierophant and the Nine of Wands. So if you were going to say, you know, positive, negative, that's the first time we I really got... Well, actually, no. I'm lying. I didn't get negative energy off that Nine of Wands. It's this Hierophant energy of teaching, the mastery of something. You've already tried it in the past. You've had some knockbacks, and you're trying again. Yes, the first time when I got a yeah. energy was the Five of Wands at the foundation position on the wand. Now that can mean training, but I'm actually, I did get uh, not big time arguments, but like using your, using your nous, using your smarts, like you did use them. You've used them in the past, so just keep using them. Four of Pentacles. Now that card is actually called classic tarot, called the miser. Now that's in your environment. But considering there was the ten of pentacles, yeah. So you did have the ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck at an important point when I saw you got the eight of pentacles, three of pentacles also showed, nine of pentacles is coming up in your outcome. I think you've been in a situation where you have been breadcrumbed emotionally, financially. In your hopes and fears, Seven of Wands, defending yourself with that nous. Two of Cups, union of two people, big love. Queen of Wands, with a fire sign. Could be any sign. Could be someone with fire in a strong placement. Aries Leo Sag, in a strong placement. And in your outcome energy, Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands big time and then those extra four cards three of cups six of cups the moon knight of cups okay so because you i just gave that final rundown because you might want to scribble it down big time take care lots of love click Grab it though. Oh,